it hurts me uh, that Jen asks me about like uh, my honesty, my integrity, because I was really faithful from the past two years. But I'm also worried about how I didn't tell Jen that my family is looking a bride for me for arranged marriage. But I can't like tell her right now because it will ruin everything. And she just came here. She just called me to come down and I'm not taking breath properly right now. Something is going on in my mind too. I started my day with a light. I told my mom that I left for the gym. But this moment is like a more special for me, uh, which I don't want to ruin it because it will not come again. Magic just happened now. <laughs> that was next level. That was a next level kiss. I was like, wow. Maybe he did miss me a little. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Even though it's been two years and Rishi's really good looking, I'm really attracted to him. Some of the doubts that my friends and family have expressed have started creeping in. So I need some time to make sure we're on the same page before I jump back into bed with him. I mean, great sex can cloud your judgment. Are you okay with waiting until we're married to have sex? So when, when we met uh, two years before, mm -hmm. uh, we intimated at that time, so what's the difference? Nothing's different. Um, I just don't want to have to worry about, like, what if you get too comfortable, you know, spending the night here and us hooking up and you thinking, like, well, why do we need to get married? Like, why buy the cow if you can get the milk for free? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it would be so much simpler, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So. I was expecting she want me like in the same way. But okay, <laughs> not to worry about it. We spent uh, already two years, so yeah, we can wait a little more. Like, how long do you think it would be until we got married? Uh, we, have, we have to like present you at, in front of my family. But I don't want to like uh, in a hurry. You can visit at my home to let them comfortable with you. You become friendly for them or they, they become friendly for you. It will be easy then uh, to express or to expose uh, everything. Okay. How bad could it be if you introduced me as your fiance? I mean, we've been engaged for like two years. Maybe uh, they can uh, don't let me out from the house, or they can uh, push me like, <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Um, Did you just say they're not gonna let you out of the house? Yeah. Like, are they gonna hold you down? This sounds absurd to me. I started out already being annoyed with Rishi about the clothes, him contradicting himself, not really making sense about what was appropriate, what he wanted me to wear. And then I realize what I'm really upset and angry about is the fact that we're still having to lie about what our relationship is. I was cool with it, I tried to be cool with it, but at this point, it really bothers me. Like, you're telling me your family is gonna keep you under house arrest? Yeah, maybe. How are they gonna do that? Explain to me. Maybe they, they will push me into a different direction, like, um, 
they will try to force me to go for the arranged marriage or something like that or they, or they will uh, Good luck with that i know i then they go for it i don't i really i'm kind of beyond caring right now why don't you are understand this i can't be a bad guy i can't i don't oh, want to really cuz you kind of seem like an ass right now you are not getting me i have many responsibility for my family because there is no key person in my family except me i'm just want a good way i just want a good way that where where we can both come i don't want to meet your family anymore honestly at this point i have a visa until x date i'll be here until then you let me know when you want to be honest with your family about us so i told them that uh, you are visiting the place basically so you're not telling them that i moved here no i i didn't tell okay. them that you are okay. moved so sanji like honestly do you think that that seems suspicious like i would be more than a friend this sort of meeting or do you think it's normal no it's not normal i'm damn sure they will gonna suspicious actually so i think this will was for rishi actually if they will find they will uh, force him for the arranged marriage as they are looking already are you saying that right now they're even looking for a wife for him uh, yes we talked about total honesty and you telling me everything I mean I'm sorry Sanjeet I don't want to put you in the middle of this but I'm really glad that you brought that up because obviously you didn't plan to tell me that they started looking for someone but it's a natural thing after a certain age you you have to like uh, find uh, someone for your children they they are doing their job but I'm not into it or I'm not giving any effort into that but I still don't understand did they start looking i don't know 3 months ago 2 months no, ago no, no. it just recent month? it just recent, recent? Uh, uh, a month only but i didn't tell you this thing because i think it become more worse between us you told me i told them i would not do an arranged marriage and because they were okay with it i told them that i will not marry anyone until i find someone so day by day i will uh, make the things better and finally i'll tell them that uh, i make my choice and you are mine lying even if it's a lie of omission is a bad move but regardless of how angry i might be i'm still proceeding with the plan to meet rishi's family because we already made the commitment and they're expecting us to come over so uh priyanka it's been 2 years since she got married and you need to find this one a wife maybe find this one a wife like how quickly are you looking to find wives for your sons cuz maybe i can attend two weddings in your family wo bole ki matlab kitne time mein aap find karoge so ye wapas se jo hai wedding attend kar sake jitna jaldi ho sake utni jaldi she want like a, as soon as possible Have you found any potential wives for Rishi yet? Jen, just <laughs> shut up your mouth. Don't make this kind of question. Don't make things worse. Iske layak koi abhi tak dhoondi kya apne ki matlab kuch mile aapko kuch? Ha, aise baat chit kai aate hain. So she's saying that uh, we have uh, in conversation with uh, someone. So, since when did you start looking for a match for him? पूछ के कब से आप देख रहे हो और हाँ दो दो डेढ़ साल सी हो गई देखते हुए तो काफी लेकिन अब तो फाइनल करनी है इस साल में. It's uh, quite awkward for me to translate the. question that jen asking but honesty is the best policy 
So she's saying that um, she has been looking from uh, one and a half year. Mm, okay. But she didn't find anyone. I am disgusted. They've been looking for a fiance for him for the past two years. Hello, he gained a fiance two years ago. Inshallah, you will find him a bride. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. I have no tolerance for someone who lies to me. At this point, I am tempted to tell his family the truth. But if I tell them, I'm actually doing his job for him. That takes a lot of responsibility off of him, and I'm not about to let him off the hook. I want a man who's willing to move mountains for me. I'm not the one that's gonna move the mountains. So what brought you here? Um, so I'm here in India because of a relationship, and from what I understand, I have to leave the country every 30 days and I'm approaching my 30-day mark, and so I need to figure out what I need to do. Okay, which country are you from? I'm from the U.S. Can you show me your visa? Yes. So I've been thinking about going to another country instead of going all the way back to America because I have a fiancé. Also, it's, um, it's not as long of a journey. Okay, and you wish to stay here, like forever, or? Um, inshallah, I would like to stay <laughs> in India forever. <laughs> and what about your fiance? When are you going to get married? Well, he doesn't even want to tell his family that we're engaged until like the summertime. Really? Yeah, so. Okay, uh, the situation is not pretty flat. And as I have checked in your visa, once, when you leave this country, you have to apply for the tourist visa again. I thought that the e-visa was a multiple entry, as long as I left every 30 days, but no, no, it's, it's a single one entry. single entry. See, it is written over here, number of entries, single. Wow. Once, when you step out of this country, this visa becomes invalid. Oh, wow. OK. It was uh, pretty much written up front on the visa that it's a single entry 30 days visa. She didn't have any clue. I feel this is a crazy American behavior. I mean, you're coming to India, get married to her fiance, but she didn't know when is she going to get married. Crazy. Oh, my gosh. Um, so how long do you think it might take if I reapplied for a visa to get it approved now? Your visa is a tourist visa. There are so many pending applications, we don't know. So the safest option that we have right now is going back to your country. This is probably the worst news yet. It means that I will have to go back to the U.S. and get a new visa, and who knows if I'll even get one. I had that meeting with the lawyer last night about my visa and my immigration status to see what my options are. If I left, how long I needed to stay gone for, uh -huh. and it did not go how I planned it all. Um, the guy essentially said that it is a single entry visa and that I've used that single entry. Um, I feel like an idiot because, I don't know, I, I should have checked it better. So the immigration lawyer said that right now, because of just the situation in general with COVID and the laws um, that he highly recommended that I go back to the U.S. And I don't know how long it's going to be before I can come back. God willing <laughs> that I get a visa. I just feel like if I go back to the U.S., like it's just, 
it messes everything up because I'm gonna have to face my family, my friends, and them like putting pressure on me to stay. It's gonna be hard for me to motivate to come back here. I do really love you. I love you too. It's really a heartbroken moment for me because she is leaving the country. It's really hard to spend time separately again. It's a very worst thing going in my mind. Do I need to like wait again for years? I already know it's gonna be extremely difficult legally, but also there's a lot of stuff that we need to work out. Yeah, our planning was like that you come back soon and then uh, we spend more time together and and we'll wait for the best time to talk with the family and then we'll go further. Exactly. But this news, like, ruined everything. I know. I'm sorry, like... It's just so frustrating because... It's like two years of just going through this. I just feel like it should be easier. We did a long distance relationship for the last two years and it was nearly impossible. There were times where I thought we were done. And this time it's gonna be harder because this time I know that his family might pressure him into an arranged marriage. I have no idea when I'll be able to come back again. And I just hope our love is strong enough for this relationship to survive.